We got another week of NFL playoffs content and a little heads up about team of the year coming next week. Let's jump right in. What's good, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto. So we're here again on a Friday. NFL playoffs content is rolling out, so we'll dive into all that. We also got a little heads up as far as when we can expect some Team of the Year content, so we will dive into that as well. We got some things to look at going into uh, some of these cards, especially the the Joe Montana. Oh my goodness, I'm over this already. But before we jump into all that, I just want to let you know if you are new here, I appreciate you for stopping by. If you'd be so kind as to hit the subscribe button down below, notification bell right next to it, get notified anytime I'm live with brand new content right here. Also, if you like this video, if you like what we talked about, if you like these cards, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about these new NFL playoffs cards coming out today. I'm a little underwhelmed. Let's jump on in. So before we dive into the NFL playoffs content, I did want to bring this to everybody's attention. Um, number one, they're giving out more stuff for the MCC stuff tonight. So tune in there. Um, follow at Madden League Ops. You can get giveaways, all that good stuff. Um, update. So Weekend League is open this weekend. That's one. Two, it says here, like right above my head right here, TOTY, TOTY special stream on Sunday at 6.15 p.m. That is inaccurate since they changed it literally in the middle of the stream. Team of the Year is coming out next Tuesday, okay? So next Tuesday. They changed it literally in the middle of the stream. So next Tuesday, Team of the Year is slated to come out. I know this says right here, Sunday stream. They're not doing that. It was deleted and, and redone in the middle of their uh, GMM stream. So Team of the Year, this Tuesday coming up. Let's hope we can do some of the snow beast, please. All right, so let us begin with the playoffs content. Again, we're gonna have a new crop of cards. Um, it's mixed between performances from past and present so i honestly i don't know what they're doing i thought at the beginning they were going to only pick teams that won and this week and the week last week they didn't i know one of the guys last week like ty hilton had a big performance previously but this week's choice is a little confused i don't know i'm confused anyway we're starting here with darrell williams darrell williams uh running back for the chiefs kind of irrelevant because by the words layer right he was like a 91 or something like that so cool i guess i mean i don't know why this i mean if you're running a true th Chiefs theme team, sure, I get it. But like outside of that, I don't I don't get the point of this card at all. Um, so cool, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense on multiple standpoints. Doesn't even have a power. Yeah, like, like, all right, sick, man. Um, so we're going to continue on through him. Uh, right here is going to be the 89, I believe it is, or Sean Gary from the Packers. Um, again, I mean, another card that's like, irrelevant because Packers already have good line you know what I'm saying so like even a Packers theme team it's not probably not going to use this card I guess so like 89 speed 89 left that's that linebacker 85 block shot no we're good 91 Traquan Smith now this one's I guess this is the one I'm kind of confused about because the Saints lost so like what past performance is he getting isn't he like really young I don't know maybe I'm missing something but 91 overall 91 speed 88 deep rat running No, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, would Saints theme teams even use this dude? Just like, no. Uh, Teron Johnson here, finally, I guess a usable card, maybe, um, especially on Bills theme teams. 93 speed, 90 man, 88 zone, 81 press. That's horrible. Uh, Miles Jack, we went over this yesterday. This card, 90 speed. Um, you know, they're gonna show his pass coverage stats as if, you know, that's gonna excite us about linebackers, I guess. But it, it doesn't. I mean, linebackers just jump, don't jump. They don't do anything relevant, really. Um, outside of rushing the passer, so 82 block shot for him, 65 finesse, 54 power move, it's kind of irrelevant. So, Devin White here, he's one of the heroes this week. They revealed him uh, last night, I believe they teased him out, 94 speed. Uh, Miles Jack is the other hero, and then we're going to show the third hero, and then the master. So, 94 speed, 97 tackle, 94 play rec, um, 8, 94 power, uh, hit power, excuse me, 82 zone coverage. The speed's real nice, but it's just like, again, another, like, you know, two linebackers here, and they both don't matter. <laughs> Because Miles Jack's not rushing the passer, and Devin White is cool and he's fast, but he's not, you know, catching stuff. Uh, 95 overall, Alan Lazard here, 93 speed, 94 deep route running, 93 spec catch, 94 catch. It's cool. He's the other hero. Not mad at it. Packers get two cards this week. I think that's pretty interesting. Um, I don't know. We'll see how the rest of the team fills out, especially with Team of the Year coming up for them. So we'll see. And last but not least, we have the Master. 
of the whole set. Now we can have a conversation here, okay? So it's 96 overall, Joe Montana. He's gonna be coming in as a field general, which is arguably the best archetype this year. I'd, I'd say it's the best archetype that and uh, strong arm. Um, so he's gonna have 82 speed, 93 throw power. In a power up, it's 94. And to get Gunslinger on a field general QB, you need to have 95 throw power. So he will have Hot Route Master. Um, it, but he cannot get Hot Route Master and Gunslinger. You have to have 95 overall, 95 throw power. So he's kind of, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's under. It's it's disappointing here that as a field general QB, he's not getting the things that matter most to him. I mean, he's arguably the GOAT. You finally picked a good playoff master and you made him not the best quarterback in the game. It's kind of, um, it's weird. Very weird. Very strange. Um, two weeks in a row now. I mean, last week, Abraham's card is okay, but it's kind of confusing. And now this week, Montana's a legit playoff legend. And you make his card. I mean, it's good. It's a good card still, right? 93 throw power, 95 short accuracy, mid accuracy deep, all above 93. Um, throwing the pressure is 96, throwing the run 93, play action 94. It's a great card statistically, but EA made ability so important this year that like if he doesn't get both, it's kind of like, why would you get rid of, why would you not keep Rich Gannon, you know, unless you're a 49ers theme team, Chiefs theme team. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's really all there is. I mean, uh, it's just confusing. It's confounding sometimes. I don't understand the decisions they make. I mean, Joe Montana is a legit... I mean, it, it, he's legit at worst, third wor best quarterback of all time. I mean, I don't understand. It just doesn't make sense. You know, sometimes they try to relate it to real life. Sometimes they don't. But like, you know, you bring Joe, Joe Montana, you give him an upgrade. You got to make him the best QB in the game. I mean, especially when Rich Gannon's still the best quarterback in the game, just based on abilities. Um, so we got a new crop of solos here, NFL playoff solos, including the Super Bowl token stuff. It's going to refresh too today. Um, if you haven't checked that out already. So Super Bowl prep week two. Remember, we have this week and then we have next week is week three. And that goes for a full week as well. So keep that in mind there. Um, it's going to be the same deal. 20 challenges, 15 head to heads, 10 solo battles, five squad wins, head to head season Super Bowl. Um, if you guys need these squad games, you can join my discord. The link is down in the description below. So feel free to join the discord there. Um, we can organize some games. I'm always playing games with people on squads. I'm trying to get some dubs. So if you need those tokens, definitely do that. So NFL playoffs weekly is getting a refresh here for week two. It looks like week one's still up there. So that's pretty cool. If you haven't done those challenges yet, um, you can still collect stars. So they're just going to recap and redo all the games there. It's situational it's starting in the second half for most of these, it looks like. So it's not a full game, thankfully. Um, the NFL playoff set is still here. Now it's important to remember to get that Steve Smith, you do need the masters. So Remember these sets here, you know, you got to go from basically it's a Russian nesting doll type deal, right? But in reverse, I guess it gets bigger as we go down. So Darrell Williams um, gets eaten up by Rashawn Gary, who gets eaten up by Traquan Smith, who gets eaten up by Teron Johnson, basically. Um, some of the sets have like a little other stuff you have to put in, like I think Devin White, you have to put in like another couple of leads or something like that. So, um, but yeah, they all get eaten up until you get to the heroes here. And then all three of these heroes go into Joe Montana set. And as you can see right here, and now Lazard, he's gonna get one Teron Johnson, a Traquan Smith, two Rashawn Garys, three Terrell Williams. So that's his set there. Joe Montana, all four pieces is gonna be the um, the three heroes and the 91, the 93 overall card. So you put all those in there and the pack you get is the 96 overall master Joe Montana. I'm not gonna be sweating my life away to get this. I might get this, I might do it for Steve Smith, but I doubt it. So in this pack here, you get the three cards, the heroes back as Nats, which you can quick sell for half training, I think it is, or quarter. I hope it's not a quarter. Um, and you get the Joe Montana card and his power up here. So anybody who held onto his power up till now um, is probably taking an L because they didn't sell it when it wasn't available in a set, as a set reward. Because usually uh, set reward power ups kill the price. So that's the playoff content for today. And here's the Nat that you get out of the pack. It's a 95 again, but it is going for half the training. So that's that's good to see. They didn't cut it down to a quarter. But 12,750 training. So you're getting back about, if you quick sell all three of them, what's like 38,000 training, something like that. So um, not bad at all. But is it worth it? So that's it. That's all. That's the playoff content for today. I'm going to be on stream later today, obviously grinding some of this stuff out. So be sure to come by, check it out. We're going to have a good time. Make sure you get in. 
follow early because we got some good, good, exciting news coming later in the future. Um, but that's all for the video today. We might come back later with some other stuff if anything is pressing. But as of right now, all you got to look forward to is playoff content today. Team of the year on Tuesday, obviously legends tomorrow, and then enjoy the championship games on Sunday. Take a day off Monday. Relax. All right. Um, that's all, though. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. We'll catch you later. Peace.